Hello everyone, welcome to part one of the AWS PyCharm tutorial series. Today I will be explaining in brief about microservices architectures and different serverless frameworks. Before taking a deep dive into microservices, let's understand first what is a monolithic architecture. In a traditional monolithic architecture, all processes are tightly coupled and run in a single service. This means that if one process of the application experiences a spike in demand, then the entire architecture must be scaled. If any single service is not functioning properly, then it's going to affect all the services. But the scenario is completely different when it comes to microservices. In a microservices architecture, the services are loosely coupled, managed by a small team, easily scalable, and the most important part, if one of the services goes down, it won't affect the other services. If one of your services is built using Java, then your other services can also be developed, but using Python, Ruby, or .NET. Microservices architectures don't follow a one-size-fits-all approach and provide flexibility to the developers as there's no technology constraint. There are lots of benefits when it comes to microservices. To know more about microservices, I would recommend you to follow the link aws.amazon.com forward slash microservices. So in this course, we will be focusing on one of the products that AWS offers for creating serverless applications. That is AWS Lambda run code without thinking about servers. Yes, that is true. As a customer, you don't need to manage any servers because those servers are being managed by AWS. AWS Lambda automatically scales your application by running code in response to each trigger. You are not running your app 24 by 7 anymore, and you'll be charged against the time that your functions were running. We will also be using the AWS Server Application Model. AWS SAM, Serverless Application Model, is an open source framework that you can use to build serverless applications on AWS. AWS SAM, SAM, is based on AWS CloudFormation, which defines serverless applications with templates. Essentially, a CloudFormation template is now the same thing as an AWS SAM template. AWS SAM shows developers what objects they can use in a template to model a serverless application. There are many ways to create serverless applications, and one of them is the serverless framework. It is an open source serverless framework which lets developers deploy cloud applications on any FAAS, FAS, function as a service provider. While the framework is open source, they also provide enterprise support. There's one more serverless framework called Chalice, which is being offered by AWS. Chalice is a framework for writing serverless applications in Python. It lets you quickly create and deploy applications that use AWS Lambda. It is highly inspired by Flask. It uses a decorator-based syntax used in frameworks such as Flask and Bottle and FastAPI. It has lots of features and seamlessly integrates with AWS services. I hope you got a basic understanding about microservices architectures and different serverless frameworks. In the upcoming video, I will show you how to install the AWS CLI, AWS SAM, and finally, the AWS Toolkit plugin.